and welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm going to be finally sharing with you how I designed and made this mural back here on my wall. So um, there's going to be clips of me throughout it uh, talking about uh, like the process. I made this back in October. Um, and so uh, there's some stuff that I filmed back then. I'll just go ahead and share some of that. Um, and then I'm also going to talk about how I like thought about it, designed it, um, and then what I used to kind of like go from there. So this is going to be kind of like a, a, not a tutorial. It's not a tutorial video. It's just going to be like how I, how I thought of it and how I designed it and then how I put it on the wall. So, um, in doing that, uh, I guess I'll just start out with what it is, how I thought of it and that sort of thing. So, um, I'll have it broken down into chapters. So if you're only curious about like one specific thing, you can go there and not have to listen to me talk. So, these are our birth flowers, and um, me and Stella were both born in July. She's on the 14th, I'm on the 24th, and then Mac and Dee were both born on the same day in April, the 13th. And so, we each have, technically, each month has got about two different birth flowers you can pick from. And so, we've got sweet peas, water lilies, um, uh, larkspur, and daisies. And so, I just kind of knew that I wanted to do the birth flowers. I thought they were really pretty and cute. Um, and so, I, what I did, um, I went to Canva, which I've got like a little subscription through Canva or whatever, and I first got, you know, I laid out the picture of my wall. So, I knew I had a round circle mirror that I wanted in the center still. I knew I was eventually going to get a piano. I didn't have the piano here yet. He just knocked my plan over. Hang on. Um... I didn't have a piano there yet, uh, and so I was on the hunt for a piano, got this sucker for free. It had like not a scratch on it, and uh, the thing's heavy, but we, we got it in. Um, and yeah, so that, that's pretty much what I knew I wanted. Uh, and so I, I've got the chair rail up underneath the wall here, so you know, it's like a half wall, it's not, it's not a full wall. And so I just went to Canva, put in a door where my closet door is, uh, put the chair rail up and the picture of the mirror. And I'll show you the picture that I designed in the Canva thing right now. So this is kind of what I went off of. Um, and so once I had that laid out, I started just like taking pictures from the internet, uh, from Canva uh, of those flowers and kind of designing it that way. So, you know, I looked up daisies and larkspurs. Um, the water lilies were the hardest thing. Lotus was whatever. They were the hardest things to do because most of them are like realistic looking and so they were really hard to put in on, on the wall um but you know i'm happy with how it came out um and then the sweet peas the sweet peas probably my favorite um and stella actually did this one down at the bottom i'll show you that in a minute but um so yeah i, I just looked up those pictures found ones that i kind of liked and took the background off of them and uh, arranged them on Canva and I looked at them I was like okay that's cool and I used that for my inspiration a lot of people kind of draw things out so I did practice drawing um for a little bit in a book just to see if I could like actually draw the flower before I drew on the wall um I've never drawn or painted anything before and so I was kind of nervous to do it um but one night I just got the hankering it was like 11 o'clock at night and I was like I'm gonna do this and so I did this and so I went, I went and just I took a pencil and just started like etching things out I just kept looking at the picture it is 11 o'clock at night and I've got the hankering to draw on my walls so homegirl has been drawing on my walls um this is a lotus uh this is a daisy this is a sweet pea and this is a larkspur I have decided I'm gonna go ahead and paint my walls with the birth flowers of our family and it's just April and July so that's all I've got to work with but that's what I've done so far and I have also done this well that that was my first one it was a little little messy but it'll be all right once I paint it that is the first lotus this is my daisy and I'm going up with the daisy right here making it a big beautiful daisy and then I'm gonna go in with another larkspur and curve it over the mirror and then I'm gonna have um, a little sweet pea right here trailing underneath this mirror. And then I'm gonna go each individual one up here. So one, two, three, four. 
Um, and I say lotus, it's really a water lily. I think it's the same thing. I'm not really sure. I call it the same thing. That one looks pretty bad. Don't look at that one. This one's decently better. But, you know, not bad just for like trying, just free handing. And it's not perfect, but you know, I think it's cute. And um, I left room for more babies. So like right there, I can have another one right there. I initially was gonna put the four flowers up above this and I still might, but for now, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, so yeah, I just, that the picture on Canva helped tremendously and it didn't come out. I mean, you know, it didn't look exactly like it, uh, but I kind of, you know, altered it the best that I could. So once I traced it all out, I started painting. And so I went to Lowe's and just got a bunch of samples. Um, so, I've kind of picked the colors I wanted based off of the colors in the picture, but also kind of, you know, what the natural colors kind of were. Um, and I think all these complement each other really well. It looks like spring and summer in here. Um, but I'll be honest, at Christmas time, it looked beautiful too. So, um, I just went to Lowe's and got little sample cans or sample, what are they called? Jars? I don't know. Tubs? What are those little things called? Sample containers? I don't know, I got samples of the paint, okay? And uh, when I checked out, this man was like talking to, this is the lady and was like, I gotta go make this rainbow over here. And like doing like that. And I was like, I mean, I don't know what he thinks I was making, but um, it was a bunch of different colors. <laughs> uh, and I would mix it. So, you know, the areas like in the lark store, you can really see, um, you know, there's different colors. And even in the, the water lily, well, I mean, you can see it in all of it. Um, I just mixed uh, a black, with the blue to make it a little deeper and that sort of thing and and the white also so um i also just got some like little brushes from hobby lobby that's what i used some of it i watered down i watered down some of the green in the beginning because i thought that that would be the best way to do it i didn't really care for the way that looked um but it did help with the blending portion it, it took a little bit longer to dry so i because i was able to like feather and stuff especially up in the sweet peas you can see where i kind of like did some blending um but yeah, I mean, that's really pretty much it. I, just the pencil and paint, and you just kind of just do your best and look at the picture and just kind of... Um, and then at the bottom here, uh, I just wanted to do little fingerprint flowers. So this is me, Dee, Stella, and Max. Uh, little thumbs or fingers um, and made like little flowers. And the one in the center has all of ours together. It's a little messy, but I just thought it made it a little bit more personal. Um, and yeah, so that's literally all I did. Um, it didn't take me that long. Uh, I think if I knew what I was doing a little bit more, it wouldn't have take, taken me as long. Though I didn't really care to do the Lark's Spurs. Those, were, those took the longest um, because everything's kind of bunched together and you had to make distinctions between the two, like all the different petals. That was kind of hard. Uh, I did this one on the right side last. And so it doesn't look as good as this one over here. This one's a little bit more defined. Uh, I mixed the paint on this side like a few days later, and so it just looks a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I absolutely love it. I think it's super unique, and ultimately it's just paint. So if we ever sell a house, uh, it's just paint. Somebody can just paint over it if they don't like it. Um, and I'm sure it's not gonna be as meaningful to them as it is to me, but I think it absolutely made the space so much more beautiful. I'll show like a before of what it looked like. I think you'll see it throughout the video um of oh you want to say hello to everybody he's been a little sick we've all been a little sick but you say hey hello 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 <laughs> um but anyways yeah that's pretty much all that i wanted to share um hope maybe one of y'all can do it canva really up my game like as far as helping me um with what i was doing and getting my like idea in my head onto something because I really can't draw. So like I was trying to draw what I wanted it to look like and that was stressing me out. So the the actual visual of it like really helped. So um, yeah, that's about all I gotta say for now. Uh, hope you all have a great day and God bless.